Hey guys, welcome back, or Bomb here. We're gonna be bringing you a brand new PC July video. This is actually gonna be a stream suggestion that I thought was really cool, and I'm gonna let you guys know right now, this deck has had no testing, but I really wanted to play something, and I don't really have time to stream tonight because I have to go to work at like 6 a.m. So, <laughs> I'm gonna be, uh, I just got back home from work, just ate, and we're gonna be playing some Steven's Metagross. So the idea is, we've all seen this Metagross before, right? It has the ability extend, which means if you use St uh, Steven's Resolve um, while this Pokemon's active, your turn does not end. With Steven Resolve, lets you get any three cards out of your deck, right? So the idea is, what if we can use two at the same turn using Lieutenant Surge's strategy? Getting plus six of any card that we want from the deck to set up just whatever we need to survive or just to win the game more or less, right? So that's gonna be kind of the basis of the deck. As you can see here, we have a Lucario Metal to use Full Metal Wall GX. This is a card we haven't gone over yet. We're eventually going to do a Lucario Metal deck, but <clears throat> for today, 260 HP um, has the attack Full Metal Wall for one energy. All your Metal type Pokemon take 30 less damage for the rest of the game. Uh, for two energy, you can also remo um, remove all the energies off your opponent's active Pokemon. So it's actually a pretty decent GX attack. Um, the rest of the attacks are okay. They don't really matter too much. Steel Fist is 50 for two and 150 for four. Uh, Steel Fist also lets you accelerate energy from the deck. We don't play enough energies in the deck to really power up the card my metal as an attacker uh, because we're going to ideally be using Metagross against fire matchups. We're going to have to like set up Metagross to use Stevens a couple times to set up a really strong Frost Rotom Frost Crush, which does 20 more damage for each energy on your opponent's side of the board. All your all the energies. So we're going to need to take big Okos, but in case we have to extend a little bit, we do have access to not the Frying Pan, but um, to Choice Pan. We are playing the frying pan, increase the overall bulk of this thing, gets rid of weakness. It's only really useful versus Baby Bicephalon because uh, with frying pan, we only have a max of 230 HP after the uh, Lucario Memetal, which um, <laughs> obviously Reshizar can still Oko you. But it's still like for the nature of this deck itself, if we can dodge enough fire matchups, it's actually pretty good. And once again, we do have a big Oko machine, which we might even have to make a 2 2 of. We are playing two counter energies to go with it. It's just one of those things where like we see it, we set up Steven, we do the thing, we take three prizes at the same time. That's going to be the game plan. Um, everything else is just kind of tech. Two counter catchers, uh, three max potions, four nest balls for Earth for just setting up our board, two pal pads, four poke gears to find our Stevens right away, four rare candies, of course, one rescue stretcher to make sure that we can use uh, this Pokemon at least twice that game. So three switches because the idea is we're going to be switching around a lot to be using our abilities. Uh, four ultra ball. Three Shrine of Punishment is a pretty good stadium just in general. Uh, one Guzma and one Judge. Really just tech. We can get them back with uh, Pow Pad. Uh, you could also throw in like a Lusamine in here, but this is my first draft. I'm just trying to make cards work. I'm trying to make the combo work right now. Uh, two Lieutenant Surges and four Stevens Resolve. We want to try to find this card turn one to set up our board. That's the game plan. Uh, one Choice Band just for the Frost Rotom. Could be useful with Metagross, but usually we're going to be slapping on a Metal Frying Pan there. We are playing four. You could cut this down. For the time being, I'm playing four because I want to make sure I'm as tanky as possible versus literally every other deck besides Fire. And... Um, Two counter catchers and five, or counter energies and five metal energies. The energy count feels really low, but it's not like we're really looking to attack every turn. We're just trying to set up as soon as we possibly can. So let's look at the deck, guys. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a couple of games. So ideally, we just make these, like, I get this done really quickly. <laughs> so I can get this video out for you guys. And then you guys can let me know in the comments down below what decks you want to see me play next. Please, uh... Oh, can I get you guys to do me a favor? Uh, please do not leave deck list in the chat in the comments. If you're gonna send me, if you want to send me a deck list, there is Twitter, and which I which I would prefer the most because Twitter is the easiest way for me to talk to you guys. By the way, guys, if you guys don't know, my DMs on Twitter are open. People ask me all the time, like, what's the best way to get in talk, contact with me? Well, one, I have the Discord chat, which the link, the invite link, should be in the description. I also have my Twitter though, and my DMs are open on Twitter, so you guys can message me whenever you want. Um, if you guys want to ask me questions, I, I used to have people all the time ask me questions, but then people just seem to forgot that I can use Twitter. <laughs> So feel free if you guys want to ask me questions on Twitter. Go ahead, my DMs are open. But more or less, just follow me, send me deck lists. Um, if you guys really want me to go ham and critiquing your deck list and getting some test games with you guys, I do have a Patreon. Um, Patreon's where I do that for viewers, my lovely viewers. Pgram does not seem like the best matchup either. I mean, to be fair, we are really tanky. Oh man, <laughs> this. I mean, this is fine, I guess. It's just not ideal. I mean, better him than anything else. Frost Rome just is a decent attack against Picarom, right? Because they have so many energies on the board. Um, if, they, if like a Picarom has six, we at least hit them for 130, which is not bad at all. But this opening hand is not super great by any means. We're just kind of chilling. Like, we can actually lose this turn. 
which sucks, but whatever. Four Stevens and four Poke Gears. I don't play draw sports in this deck because we realist realistically, all we're trying to do is play Stevens every turn. I'm sure he has the game now. He just has to get one Electro Power. Oh, Kukui works as well, and then he just switches Lightning Energy. We're just gonna screw this one up because I'm sure he has it, and he's just gonna max out for me. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna play this game. Obviously, he has it. We're gonna move on though. <laughs> That wouldn't have been as much of an issue because at the very least we could have had like frying pan on a on a beldum beldum that's what they're called yeah so um he still have to ex extend a couple resources to take a knockout in case he had a guzma but we just like literally just four nest balls gone and nothing else we can do about that but let's see if we can get a game here we can ignore that first game <laughs> uh let's see i see a pokemon man I guess to be fair, we literally only play like four basics and then the one ro fro Frost Rotom, but I mean, realistically, like the odds of leading Frost Rotom are still pretty low. Pretty decent opening hand. We can play against Water, we're playing against Blastoise. So Blastoise does not get affected by Frost Rotom at all, which is fine because that's not the purpose. But Frost but Blastoise does have the issue of being really tanky, so that's going to be kind of annoying. Uh, like Blastoise actually does seem like a pretty bad matchup now that I'm thinking about it. Because they're super duper tanky and there's not much we can do about them being tanky. And then we, although we are also tanky, we're not as tanky as they are. Three Poke Gears, huh? Um, <clears throat> let's take a look what's prized here. We all have our Beldums, we have Lucario Memetal. Uh, the problem with playing Lucario Memetal is that like we have to play it, but we don't have a way to pick it up. Like I don't play Ace Roll. I could be playing a one of Ace Roll. It doesn't seem too bad. Um... So if I can grab Lucario Memo now, right? To and hopefully find Steven. Steven should give me Energy, Rare Candy, Metagross. But I need to get like another Steven as well, right? So maybe Rare Candy, Metagross, uh, Steven. And then ideally my Metagross doesn't get knocked out next turn. So then if that's the case, I should just grab Beldum. Because then I could just grab Nest Ball for that Lucario later. I just need to land one of these. Thank you. That's all I needed. We can hold on to these for later. Okay, now we can just grab Metagross, Rare Candy, Steven. We're going to have to be careful with Pal Pads, though. Um, and then ideally, turn two. I guess we could also play a one of DC in here specifically for the Lucario Mud Metal. So there's a couple ideas as well. Uh, I actually don't hate that idea. In this matchup, I don't think it's going to matter too much, but it could be pretty cool. Now, because of like the nature of my opponent's deck, I don't see my opponent playing any disruption of any kind, so I'm not too worried about that. There's a Lily, yep, I don't see my opponent playing Marsh Shadow at all or anything like that. So, let's see if we can get a really good game here. In a perfect world, we get ourselves a... Shrine of Punishment is going to be really nice if he ever gets down Blastoise GX. But um, he plays his own like Brooklyn Hills, so we're going to have to wait till he bump benches his, plays his own stadiums down. I don't know if this build is playing Max Potion. I know that some builds play Max Potion. I don't personally like Max Potion. I just, just don't think. I think you just should be out aggressing your opponent most of the time. Um, really good turn for my opponent, but they did whiff the stadium, which is unfortunate, which gives us time to do something like this. Do they have resistance? They don't. Actually, we can just take a knockout here instead of play Lucario Memetal, which I'm not super against. Let's grab. I think we should just do that, huh? Stevens. Maybe we don't grab Steven and we just try to land a Poke Gear. We also have to be careful because of Pal Pad. Uh, we should grab a Metal Energy, of course, because I do want to take prizes while I can. Meaning our Lieutenant Search won't be active until later in the game, but by the time we're later in the game, we should have a really good board state. Let's grab a Metal Energy and then Rare Candy Metagross again. So we have another one just in the back. Uh, GX attack doesn't feel super necessary right now. We can GX later. Yeah, sure, we can do this. Two Metagrosses feel pretty good. And we'll just hold off on the Poke Gear because we can grab another. We can. Oh, we actually take like two knockouts here. Maybe even three knockouts, depending on how often we can attack. Uh, maybe. Um, what, else, what was I saying? Oh, maybe we can land Stevens later. Like, we're not in a huge rush to get Stevens now because now we just attack. Because if you guys don't remember, um, Meteor Mash is 60 and then does 60 more damage. So it does 60, then 120. And then 120 over and over and over again until you switch. So obviously it resets when you switch, but. In order for him to take a knockout on me, he has to shuffle back in four energies, which means he has to get two Blastoise down, like, for sure. Surprised he didn't just go directly into the Vulpix, though. I guess he's just really confident 
that he will land what he needs. And there's Timer Ball and Brooklyn Hill, so he, he can switch now. But unfortunately, Timer Ball is Timer Ball. <laughs> but at least he gets one Blastoise, right? Unless he already has, like, the other pieces in his hand. He might just end this turn with an empty hand, though, and just, like, go all in on a Blastoise here. Which would be kind of annoying, but... I mean, the problem right now is that if we whiff Stevens, that could be bad. I was kind of going all in on the ho on hoping that I could just continue like hitting his board down because he wasn't doing too much this turn. And there's heads, so we get one heads at least. So not the best, but he's better than him discarding the cards that are in his hand. I'm assuming one meta one Blastoise is just not super great because I'm not only I'm only going to be able to hit it for 90 though, so I have to keep that in mind. Like. I'm just slowly chipping him down. I'm not doing nearly as much as I would like. This thing is weak to metal though. So if I can ever hit this thing for boosted damage with like custom catcher, since this only thing only stops supporters, right? Yeah, so counter catcher still works, not custom catcher. Counter catcher still works on this. So that's a free two prizes for me at some point. Not free, I have to attack at least twice in a row, but it's still a pretty good amount of damage. This is going to do like 120, which is going to be 90. So I think I'm going to spend this turn GX attacking if I can pull it off. The rare candy. Let me see what this does for me. I could technically get Frost Rotom. Just to thin the deck. Does that matter? I don't think it matters. We have both Stevens in the deck. I need to get Pal Pad at some point now. Alright, let's do this. Uh, see, I don't want to grab this unless I can guarantee the Stevens. Yeah, here's where the situations become scary. Can I land this? Nope. Yeah, that was to be expected. All right. Um, now it's problematic because we don't have an energy in hand. We need to find a Steven and... Hmm. I was thinking about playing that Mewtwo as well for this situation. Yeah, I think maybe it was greedy. I shouldn't rely on Pokegear whenever I already played two. That was probably my bad. It was really risky. Uh, he can hit me for another 90, and that would be a knockout. But he has to he has to land the other Blastoise. So maybe he won't land the other Blastoise, so we're just going to keep going here. I'll hit him for 90. I mean, technically it's a 3 KO, so... If he just doesn't... If he just whiffs the other Blastoise, we should be okay. That's what I'm banking on right now. Oh, he does play Max Vision, but he's burned one. And there's no way this deck can play more than, like, two. So I'm not too worried about it. And like the faster he burns his max potions, the better it is for me. I'm assuming he's just going to pass here. I don't think he has much going on. Yeah, and he attaches to the bench too. Um, there's choice ban, but like I can't get rid of my own thing. So maybe I just grab Frost Rotom because I, I got to thin my deck. I can't grab Blue Card in my middle because that's like a target if I and I don't want to just be like knocked out. You know what I mean? Let's keep going here, I guess. Like, we're both in top deck mode, but he played Erica for three. Erica's, I mean, he's only getting three cards, right? How big of a deal is three cards? Let's find out. Not big enough. There's a Metagross, more dead cards. Hmm. Guess we're just gonna keep going. If he doesn't switch next turn or heal, I'll be, we get a knockout, so that's pretty cool. Three energies on board. There's Ultra Ball. Does he get Blastoise? Can he get Blastoise? Can he get anything here? War Turtle. Hmm, that sucks. What does War Turtle even do? I didn't. I didn't know there was a War Turtle with an ability. Oh, it just takes one. Okay, so we do get two prizes here, so that's really good. And there's an extra energy, so I could stall one more turn. He might just have Blastoise in hand though, and I don't want him to have this Blastoise around when he has the Blastoise in hand. So I think the Metal Energy in hand is really good. I'm just gonna take my knockout. Two prizes is great, and um, that's one less Blastoise I have to deal with. Articuno doesn't do much, and we do hit Articuno for weakness. Um, there's counter energy, and I mean, not the best prizes, especially since we're so ahead now. So I don't think we're going to be using Lieutenant Surge. Like, the idea is that, like, a couple of Beldums get knocked out, and then we can start chaining Metagross. That's kind of, like, the idea of the deck. We might need to play extra stretchers if I'm going to go off that idea anyways, but he's not doing much here. We're just going to take another knockout and then just win the game. Which is unfortunate, but I guess it is what it is, right? Take a knockout here. He's moving his energies to a different Pokemon. Hmm. Well, we got the tank for a very long time. 
Maybe I should just max push in here. Sure, we'll just max push in. It's just taking him way too long to take a knockout. We might as well just abuse it. I could just get a Beldum here, because we have Rare Candy Metagross in hand. Counter G is never going to come into play. I guess we could just like just attach it there if we ever feel the need to. He has a lot of energies on the board anyways. We can just start slapping things down on this Frost Rotom, to be honest. And we don't have a reason not to. If he gets knocked out, it's not the end of the world. We don't really need it for the combo. And it just thins the hand down, so if he ever does play like Judge or Marshadow, which I highly doubt that he plays, but if he ever does play it, then simple. I'm going to give him a sad face as well. I'm sorry. It sucks, man. I really like the Blastoise deck, too. Like, Blastoise is one of my favorite videos to record. By the way, go check out my Blastoise video. We got Shrine of Punishment as well. So even after whiffing two Poke Gears, we still managed to just... <laughs> my opponent also played this themselves down to a dead hand. This is why I don't play Timer Ball just in general. Like, I play Timer Ball in decks that, like, I kind of have to play Timer Ball in. But, like, for the most part, I just don't play Timer Ball for this reason. I'm also not playing Lele in this deck. Lele is a card you could play, but I, I took mine out pretty quickly. Well, there's Blastoise, so he can at least start doing something. He doesn't have a manual attachment here, but he can grab the Blaby Blastoise. And hit me for like 120, I think, after. And I don't take an Oko in return. He's gonna grab Blastoise GX. But like, he can't... I guess he's just gonna take a hit here, which is fine. Um, and <laughs> just be shrined away. Fail this. I wish I could attack with this right now. But we're never going to be able to use, like, counter counter. None, none of these cards are going to be useful now. I should probably just grab the card in my middle from my hand. Just from the deck. Thin it. Get rid of these counter catches that I'm never going to use. You top deck a water? If you top deck a water, we have a game. Oh, you top deck a Cynthia. We still have a game, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, he can shuffle back in a bunch of energy, so that's pretty cool. We don't have a water, we don't have a metal energy in hand, so this literally just might be the return, the run back. It might just be time. He found, okay, he took his knockout. But yeah, there's not much we can do here. And we just got more switches, so like, we're just kind of chilling. I guess we're going to Ultra Ball away these things that we can't play. It's going to be hard for him to take multiple knockouts, so we're just going to try to abuse that real quick. And just chill. Maybe I just don't give him prizes. Alright, we'll do that. We just we won't give him prizes. We have a max potion in hand, as well as two switches. We should be okay. Like, he has to have, like, rare candy Blastoise. To, like, try to chain knockouts more. But like, we're 26 cards, come on, we gotta find a Steven. Let's find a Steven, come on. A, a pal pad too would help, just to shuffle back in Stevens. We can play a shrine down again. Let's take a look here, just in case, any shenanigans. Uh, yeah, we'll just play this again. Eventually we'll win the game, right? <laughs> Eventually. He does have two energies on the board. Three is 61, 21, 80. So three is a problem. Oh yeah, three is a knockout. I have to be careful. So I don't have I don't have the thing right now. Maybe my draw supports might actually be useful. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh well, we'll just switch into this one. I think. Uh, there's a lieutenant surge that we'll never be able to play. I could just give him Lucario Memetal. At some point, maybe. It's three prizes though. I guess we just have to. Pass again. What's he saying? Well played for. He doesn't win. Oh, Guzma. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> and he lost an energy in the process. So it's still a knockout, but like. Oh, he's just choosing not to attack me? I don't know if that was a play, homie.
I'm debating right now. I could hit him for 40, for 30. Maybe just wait. I could make it really difficult though by putting down this card on my metal. Giving him, hmm, I kinda wanna do that. But I play Shrine, but then he also plays Shrine. I mean, I'm also, uh, I'm gonna do it. Just cause like, in order for me to win this game, I just have to stall him out. <laughs> Let's try and take care of the work, you know what I mean? So we'll just full metal wall here. Cause he has like, not much HP left. If I get another energy, I can hit him for 20. Oh, somebody's home. So, 60 on 240. It's not enough. We're at minus 30 right now. But Shrine is going to eventually take care of damage. He's going to try to get three prizes off me as quickly as he can, but I have max pot, so we're okay. Another Nest Ball that doesn't matter. I guess I can get rid of the other Beldum in my deck. This has been... I bet you guys are super entertained right now, but we're going to play this out. And my brother's home, so you might hear some random noises. <clears throat> this has been just so entertaining, guys. <laughs> what is happening? Oh my god. We still have two Pokegears in the deck, too, so it's not like we don't have the combo pieces to win. It's just that we're not drawing into anything, which is also, like, the problem of not playing draw supporters. And also my fault. I didn't realize that, like, I shouldn't be banking on Pokegear. And if anything, I should bank off... If I, I should use Pokegear first and then Steven. So that was just a, just a combination of things that were my fault, for sure. He has two Pokemon that are damaged, though, so he's not going to be able to do this forever. So I'm not too sure what he can do here. Um, he's going to take two prizes off me, but it's two prizes just isn't enough. Can this thing do anything? Single smash? <laughs> Single smash. I'll uh, we'll just throw this down. Uh, if I get Ultra Ball, it doesn't do anything. Never mind. We'll just pass. You have 260 HP, so we get another turn. But this will be knocked out in a few turns. This will be knocked out like at the end of my turn. And he's not max pushing because he's attaching. So I think I just win unless he can bump the stadium. <laughs> what a game. Oh my god. If it wasn't for the fact that I really wanted to get an upload for you guys. And like I can, I can always like, I can always play this game. I can always play, um... <laughs> I can always play this deck again if you guys want to see me like revise it because the concept is cool. We just oh look look who's just look who decided to show up. <laughs> oh my god, the concept is really cool. Um, but I mean the video is not over by any means. But the concept is really cool. We just didn't do it because <laughs> we went too aggressive early game and then we had nothing the rest of the game. So let's try again. <laughs> let's try to see if we can pull off the combo again. So what did I learn, Mr. Orbaum? Mr. Orbaum learned that don't be greedy, check your pieces first, don't play bad, uh, don't, whatever. This is why I record in the morning time. <laughs> At least in the morning time, I'm like fresh and awake. It's hard to record anything when you just spend all day thinking and doing and like working and like thinking and working and thinking and working. I'm really tired. Where's my water? That's in the other side of the room. I don't feel like getting up. Hey, uh, Jolo Nick, what's up, homie? You gonna you gonna flip that coin, yo? You dang furry! Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm sure he's a great guy. And there's nothing wrong with being a furry. Now, his opening hand is okay. At least we have Stevens, right? So should I do the thing this time? <laughs> um, what do I want off the Steven? And also, I mean, I'm going second, so that's a kind of a problem as well. We're playing Landorus. Hmm. This thing hits for 60, which can literally donk me. So, I mean, like with Diancy, of course. So that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Are we going to get donked? Is this going to happen? This might just happen. You know what we could do? We could play like greens for early game before we get abilities down. Th that would work if we didn't play the Frost Rotom, though. But we play the Frost Rotom, so we can't actually do that. But like, in theory, we could play the green, right? And then just keep playing green until uh, we have a Metagross set up. 
and then start using Steven. And then we have like this crazy search engine going where we're like early game green search for two and then late game Steven search for four. And then we just don't need pal pads anymore. <laughs> but of course, if you lead Rotom, then your deck completely falls apart. So you can't really do that. And you need the Rotom because you literally lose against fire. And Rotom is just kind of like your fail safe versus fire. Which makes me think, maybe I should play like a... Uh... Oh, thank God for top decks. Uh, oh boy. Uh, should I play this Poke Gear or should I just... I might have to toss it. I can't toss the Pal Pad. And I can't toss both Stevens. Maybe I can't. I just switch this. Oh uh, no. It feels, doesn't feel like a great idea. Let me uh, get another Beldum <laughs> for sure. And uh, I can get Rare Candy Metagross Steven here. I already have, I already have Rare Candy Hand, so we can get Metagross Steven something else. We need energy. We can grab Lieutenant Surge. This seems like a really good time to actually grab it. Okay, we'll pull off the strategy here. Metagross, so we have the Red Candy in hand, we have two Beldums on the board, we just need Steven Lieutenant Surge. Sick, we got this, we got the combo going. Because I'm assuming he's going to take a knockout. Because if he doesn't take a knockout, that's kind of crazy. But with this, we actually get plus six, because we're going to we're gonna use this Lieutenant Surge. So we're going to, of course, we're going to Red Candy Metagross, use the Lieutenant Surge and Steven, and then pal pad the two Stevens back in the deck, and then grab another two cards plus... Ooh, this sounds really good, actually. And then we're going to hit him for a good amount of damage. <clears throat> so it seems like fun. He's playing Ace Rolla, so that's that's like super not good. Uh, Lucario is gonna be a pain. Yep, here we go. Let's start. Let's do start these shenanigans. This is such a cool card, but like it just doesn't feel good enough, you know. Let's grab rare candy, Metagross, and Lieutenant Surge, and Steven. What are you grabbing off Steven? Um, probably... Should we thin the deck with like Nest Ball? Or should we just grab... I think I'm just gonna grab Beldum straight up. Uh, let's grab another Steven, of course. Let's grab this as well. Sure. And let's pal pad two Stevens back. We're still going to be behind on prizes, so I should probably grab another Lieutenant Surge, Steven, something else. Oh, Lieutenant Surge, Steven, Energy. Oh, but we might need Metagross in case he does. No, there's no way he takes a knockout. There's no way he hits 200. Um, well, I might need, like, more Pal Pads. <laughs> now that I'm actually pulling off the combo, I'm kind of seeing, like, what's happening right now, and I, I like what's happening. I like it. I really do. So let's meet your mash here for 60. Should be a knockout next turn. So yeah, here's the combo. And wow, it's actually really cool. Like if you actually get it going, it's really, really interesting. Um, I, I like it. I definitely like it. Lucario is going to be a problem because he has Ace Rollas, but he already tossed one. There's the, that's fine. This is not a big deal because we have switch in hand. He takes a knockout here. Actually, doesn't even take a knockout, does he? Yeah, he doesn't. And, like, this is whatever. <laughs> well, let's do this. I guess we can just grab Frost Rotom, because once again, it's a card we're not going to be able to use this game. But we'll thin the deck with it so we can top deck more. <sighs> let's switch. Lieutenant Surge. And Steven, to grab Steven plus something. Oh, we need Metagross. Steven, and what else do we need? Maybe another pal pad, put Lieutenant Surgeon Steven back in the deck. This is really cool, actually. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Do we have pal pad prize? Because that's going to be annoying. No, we don't. All right, cool. So from the looks of it, so this is this is really cool. So consider this a live test video. Because um, there's, there's things I definitely want to change now. Let's shuffle back in. Lieutenant Surgeon is Steven. Rare Candy Metagross. Alright, what else do we want here? We definitely want another Steven. I guess we'll just grab another Steven Lieutenant Surge, just in case. Um, actually, I'm probably just going to play Judge next turn, huh? 
Maybe I don't grab Steven. Because I don't see what else I could use next turn. Uh, yeah, I'm just probably just going to play Judge, I think. Just do my best to disrupt my opponent. Um, is there anything I want right now? I could grab Counter Catcher and just knock out the thing on the bench. Oh, I could knock out a Riolu, right? Let me knock out Riolu, because that thing's a threat. Uh, Metal Frying Pan for the bench one could be pretty good. Because that thing is looking like it's weakened. Yeah, I like this. Let me knock out that bench Riolu. There we go. We just took full control of this. Oh, we didn't knock it out? Oh, yeah, that's right, because we only hit 60 right now. Whoopsie. <laughs> that's a problem. Because he can GX me. Oh, that's kind of scary, actually. And I played Judge. Oh, I misplayed. I thought, I thought this turn would have been the 120 turn. That's my bad. I guess there's an argument to play Delmize now, right? I took out the Delmize in my original list because I was like, there's not really a reason to play Delmize, and I just found a reason to play Delmize. <laughs> just to hit 70, right? So it's not bad. Is that a Zygarde? Can't tell what that is. Oh, that's my, that's my, my champ, Marsh Shadow. Dude, this is ugly text. I'm not going to lie. Oh, this card's pretty cool, actually. With the Revenge, is just a really strong attack. So I still don't, I still haven't taken a knockout here. Judge doesn't do anything, it just draws me a few cards, which, to be fair, is definitely not bad. Uh, no, this, okay. Hello. <laughs> There's not really a reason for me to play this Steven though, right? Like, I could just take a knockout here, and what's he going to do? He comes in with this thing, hits me for a lot, for sure. But we have the Steven in hand, so do I care? He hits me for... 120, 140, one, but still not enough for a knockout. I'm just gonna take my knockout, whatever. Yeah, there's no purpose. I'm just gonna take my knockouts. <clears throat> I shouldn't be too greedy. But this is what I mean. Like this, this is like a really crazy chain. If I can get a couple of pal pads in here, because I already ran out of pal pads, <laughs> so I can't actually do this forever. But like, if I had four pal pads in here, as well as like, just like. Two, Steve, uh, two Lieutenant Surges and four Stevens. This is a crazy combination. It almost makes me want to play like three Lieutenant Surges, like three Lieutenant Surges, four Stevens, and four Pal Pads, like just straight out of the gate. Um, hmm. I really like the idea of it. I'm not going to lie. This linear attack's not doing anything. We're just going to take another knockout here. And this is really cool for max potions in the future. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to keep attacking. I don't have a reason not to. Eventually, I'm going to play Stevens for Max Potion, but I mean, for the time being, I'm not even in range of this card yet, If I, I believe. I believe he only hits me for a 140 minus, minus 30, which is 120, which is only, it was just not a knockout yet. What is it like? It hits me for 120 right now. With Diancy, it's 140. With minus 30 is 110, and 110 is only 150. So unless he has Kukui here, uh, which even with Kukui, that shouldn't be, no, with a Kukui, it's exactly a knockout. Never mind. But that's not Kukui. So we're going to be able to chunk this. Um, but I don't know. Do I think he'll get another Acerola? I might just judge here, honestly. Because this is not going to be a knockout. Do I want to judge? I'm debating getting a Beldum down here. But there's nothing I want to discard. Judging doesn't do too much. It does stop a potential ace roll play. Um, let me take a look at this deck real quick. I don't have any more Beldums. I have two Beldums prized. I kind of want to play DC for the card on my middle. I'm not going to lie. How many uh, energies do we have in this deck? 30 or 3. Three more left in the deck. No way to retrieve them. It's just not enough damage. I don't see myself being able to take a knockout on this thing, but I don't play Guzma in here either. No, I do play Guzma, but I don't play. I don't have Lieutenant Surge right now. So, all right, let me let me max potion. I mean, three energies is one sixty, one eighty, one eighty minus thirty is one fifty. Let me grab a max potion. <sighs> yeah, let's just grab a max potion. It kind of sucks that we don't have a Beldum. Do we have one in the discard pile? We do. I'm just going to grab that, I think. Maybe a shrine. So I can actually take it to a KO on this thing. Because I'm like... 
almost certain I'm playing Judge next turn because I can Ultra Ball for the Metagross. Let's just do this for now. Let's just continue hitting. Yeah, we're just going to continue beating because that's the, the, what this deck's all about, just being a beat stick. So, play for 120 over and over and over again. Oh, Shrine of Punishment? It should be a knockout, right? If he doesn't take a knockout here and he doesn't ace a Rolo, we just take a knockout with another Meteor Mash. If, unless he bumps the stadium. See, I was thinking about playing a Field Blower, but I cut it out because Field Blower would have been cool to just, like get rid of this frying pan and just throw the Choice Band on top just to take a guaranteed knockout. I'm assuming this means he has Ace Rolla if he's doing this. No, he's just gonna play the Dene, so he's gonna try to he's gonna do his best to find. No, he could have grabbed Ace Rolla just then. So I don't really know what his game plan is here. But with Shrine taking him down and him being unable to take a knockout on this Metagross with Lucario. Uh, I'm just gonna take a knockout next turn. He might be trying to gear up for a GX attack as well, but Hmm Is he gonna GX me because a GX GX would be a knockout But that's like the only thing that could be a knockout which is a really good play because I don't have a Solid way to revenge this because <laughs> I don't have an energy in hand anymore. Maybe just top deck Steven. Nope. Counter energy does not work. I guess we'll just toss the counter energy. Grab the Metagross here. And we're gonna we're gonna judge, but I don't know how useful it's gonna be. No, I don't even know if I want to attach the choice man to the active. Because he can take a knockout next turn now. But oh, I probably should have gone into this one and tried to find Choice Man. Hmm, I mean the other thing. I don't want to attach this judge. I probably should just slap it down though. I feel like with Shrine now on the board, I don't really need Choice Band on my Metagross anymore. So let's see what this can do for me. Okay, this is good. It's not great, but it's not bad at all. Actually, this is pretty bad. He's gonna take another knockout here, and I can't do much about it because I this is this was this is really foolish of me. I'm not gonna lie. If I hit him for 60, how much does that matter? It doesn't matter that much, huh? With my hand being the way it is, I don't know if I should even attach an energy. Yeah, hitting me for 80 sucks. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna pass. Cause I don't have too many energies in the deck to just be attaching willy nilly, right? So I think I'm gonna have to like max potion this Metagross on the bench and then start attacking with this one and hopefully he can survive long enough for me to win the game. Oh, he bumped the shrine. Hmm. I really just have to hope he never finds, uh, what's it called? He just never finds the thing. This is another issue I was having with the deck, is maybe I just don't play enough energies. I just have to hope he never finds, uh, what's it called? I can't think of the name right now. Um, okay, we have a couple Poke Gears in the left deck, and we have one more Steven, so hopefully we can do something. If we need to stall for time, we also have one Guzma in hand. But hopefully, I was really hoping he wouldn't bump that stadium. We do take a knockout though. He can just retreat, but we have Guzma. But Guzma doesn't do anything unless we can switch. If I can knock this out, that could be really big. Oh, he's just gonna let me knock it out. Maybe he thought he took a knockout. Oh, Frank Pan does not help me right now. Actually, it might. Let me grab the car on my metal. Yeah, let me grab the car on my metal. Let's stall for a little bit. Meteor Mash with three cards. Let's see what these three cards do for me. I just win with one more knockout. And there's no more Metagross to attack with. So I have to attack with Lucario my metal at some point. And here's where like I wish I had a switching card. Do I have any more rare candies? I have no more rare candies. So this is it for my Lucario my metals, Which means I literally have to find my last two energies and attack with this boy a few times. He already GX, so this is not a threat to me. Hmm, I have to find some energy cards to attack with. 
So this is going to have to do all the work right now, like every piece of the work. Let's take a look. I'm just going to thin my hand from cards we don't need. We have two energies as well as one counter energy, which kind of works because it's a colorless energy attack cost, I mean. So we have three energies we can draw here. Custom Catcher won't work anymore. Do I Guzma right now? This does have a two retreat cost, so it is going to be annoying. We're taking about these two turns. Yeah, I guess we do. We have a switch in hand just in case shenanigans happen. We can stall until we get max potion. A GX attack would be pretty good as well, so. If we, get a, if we just get a, like a single energy here and he starts attaching, just actually attaching won't work. Hmm. So we want DCE. So there's a couple cards we want in this deck now. We want DCE, we want a couple of pal pads for sure. Like it's, oh, is he gonna Lycan rock me? No, he's gonna shuffle, okay, that's fine. I haven't seen a Lycan rock yet. I actually really like this deck list. Uh, it's kind of the, it's kind of like an idea I was t tinkering with because you guys know how much I like Lucario. My main concern with it right now is that there's not really a purpose in the deck because how does it beat Reshizard, you know? Prime Hand doesn't do anything, so we're just continue stalling. I mean, I could just grab Metagross. Like these cards are never gonna be used. This can mean this is like a minus one from the deck. So we'll do that. He has he hasn't been able to retreat yet. Maybe he has a Guzma or something he's like banking on finding. But like the reason why I haven't played this yet is because I don't know how this deck can Tango versus Reshizard. There's no real scenario where I think you can beat Reshizard. Because there's nothing you can do to Oko Reshizard. And like to beat Reshizard, you just have to Oko it or be like a non or like up trade. That's what I'm trying to say. And this deck doesn't up trade well because like you need like the world and back to, to a KO Reshizard. And if they heal at all, then you're just like completely, completely like not in a good position. Well, there's Ace Arola, uh, but it picks up, he's gonna pick up the Dene. He might. Deck oh, he's on Nest Ball? What's his Nest Ball for? Just the thin cards out of his deck, maybe? Uh, I don't really know what he's trying to do here. Maybe he wants a bench space for Lele? No? Maybe he's, maybe he's gonna try to find Guzma here? Like, we have lots of time with this card. So you're 260 HP. It takes a lot, and my opponent can't GX me with Lucario, so there's no, like... And if I find Shrine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in a good position as well. He doesn't even open me with this. He's gonna just hit me a little bit here and there. Hmm. There's Shrine, yep. Oh, but Shrine's really bad for me too. Mm, I don't think it's worth playing. I don't think Shrine will win me the game fast enough. He has no way to hit me really hard. Maybe 130. But if I play Shrine now, like he's already played two Acerola. I don't know how many Acerolas he plays, but I can win the game in 13 passes it's a few turns um that's like what eight passes he'll just deck out i'm better off just like banking off the deck out than i am on that so i'll just pass for now i could switch but like whatever he can take his knockout i guess put him down to one prize it doesn't win him the game so it doesn't matter plus he has dumbbells too so i can't really why is he playing kakui now he's just gonna deck out what is he doing is he just banking on decking out how many max potions do I have left? Do I have enough? I have one max potion left. So maybe some magic can happen. Oh, let's try it again. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> Is it, if he's hitting me for like, I need a GX like soon. I need an energy card. Oh God, like 20 is not a lot of damage. So that's, there's benefit to that. But if I can just find an energy of some kind, Lieutenant Surge is not what I wanted there. <laughs> Then we're like gonna be in a really good position. Maybe he plays Judge. I don't know, but he really like. I don't think he can win. Baton. Wow, this dude just plays it all, doesn't he? <laughs> this man is actually just playing it all right now. Like he's thinning his hand too. Like th that tells me he's not playing Judge. Of any kind, he's just throwing crap down because he can. Maybe he's gonna play Cynthia here, maybe he has Cynthia. But if you have Cynthia, it's not gonna help him too much. 
Oh my god, dude, how long is it going to take for me to draw like any of the cards I need? I have one Steven and three energies. That's four cards. We're at 50-50 at this point. And there's a max potion too. So we have one, two, three, four, five cards are good in this deck. And we haven't drawn any of the good cards we need in the past few turns, but it's fine. Like, I'm not in a huge rush. I think we're okay. Like, he, there's no GX attack he can do. The most he can hit me for is 110. Uh, this can hit me for 130 if he wants to set that up, but... Uh, of course, Diancy and Maya's things. Uh, you know what I mean. So this thing can hit me for the most amount of damage. Is he going to do it? No, he's not. It's finally. Okay. So all we got to do is energy, energy, and max ocean, right? We don't deck out, do we? No, we're not going to deck out. My opponent will deck out first. Max pot. And full metal wall. So now he does zero damage. And now we can start smacking him for 50 at a time. Well, I mean, I guess that's going to be the deck profile, guys. He has Cynthia. So Cynthia doesn't help him. He goes right back down to a one card deck. <laughs> so, like, it doesn't change anything. This is why he shouldn't have slapped so many things down. That's why I was so confused. I was so confident he had nothing in his hand because of that. Steel Fist. I swear if he like shows me the Judge right now though, I'm gonna be big mad. Actually no, Judge would help me so much. But like, what is, what what other card could he have? Like, Tate and Liza? <laughs> Alright, well, GG. That was, that was one, that was one heck of a game, I guess. I mean, we'll take it. Alternative win conditions for the win. <laughs> We got to manage to deck out our... I was thinking about playing right on mill today too, but like who needs right on mill when you got this deck? So let's go ahead and like make adjustments to this deck, right? Um, this is really, really cool and I like it a lot. I really, really like it. Uh, I mean, I could cut out the frost and do the green thing, but like I said, I don't like the idea of auto losing, just straight out auto losing to, uh, um, to Reshizard and I don't want to do that. So we're going to play four of you and probably one more of you, right? We don't probably need four of these things. We cut one out, one of those. I kind of want another energy card in this deck as well. Um, I I don't think I've ever used Guzma, but like I should probably keep it in a deck because there's definitely game winning scenarios that could happen with Guzma. Uh, so we just gotta cut three cards. It's not too hard, right? Three cards shouldn't be that bad. We added an extra energy, so now we have eight energies in the deck. Um. Maybe we don't need all these switches. Kind of feels risky though. Let's take a look here. Um, I definitely like these. I like that. I want to play four of these too, but one step at a time. Cut out one switch. Um, I like that. I like the idea of having judge. Like some sort of hand disruption could still work. Uh, choice ban. I still feel like you need it for Reshi's eyes. I'm gonna keep the rat that in the deck. So. What two cards are we gonna cut? That we're just gonna, I th if, at this point, if we're gonna cut two cards, we're completely removing a strategy. Um, <laughs> speaking of cards, I gotta play an Ace Rolla. I, I, I don't feel like if I'm gonna play Lucario Memo, I, I have to play Ace Rolla because I need to be able to pick it up if I'm still playing Shrine of Punishment. And I don't wanna take out Shrine of Punishment. So we're gonna play one Ace Rolla. So now we gotta cut out another three cards. <sighs> hmm. We need the Nest Balls. Obviously, we need a turn, a good turn one so we don't get donked, right? So we don't want to cut out like the nest balls. Also, I forgot about the crime animal. So we have six leads in this deck. Um, one of them, I mean, like this is a really good lead because we can just use full metal wall immediately. So that's not a bad lead by any means. Hmm. So you guys are going to see like my my like how my brain space works right now. Um, I could cut out a shrine, but three stadiums is like the best number of stadiums you can play if you don't want to go full, but you still want to be able to bump and keep your stadium in play. Three seems like such a good number. Uh, I could cut Ultra Balls, but that, once again, impedes on my really, like, having a really good turn one. 
Maybe I don't. I, I don't think I'll need two, three Lieutenant Surgers. I think two is going to be enough. I mean, sure, we might have to pop at it in the deck more often than I would like uh, with, with, it, with one of them being prized. But like, like all we care about, as you guys saw, is not so much the uh, continuously using Steven every single turn throughout that game. It's more along the lines of like get a really, really good early game setup with Steven once you set up with one Metagross and then just go ham from there because you have everything you should need from that, that point. So maybe I just cut out the Guzma then. Because Lieutenant Surge just opens up the possibility of doing so much that I don't want to cut out the Guzma. But I don't want to cut out counter catchers either because those are really, really strong. Okay, I think we cut one counter catcher. The four pal pads just feel like after that game, once we got the strategy rolling, like I just feel like if we don't have four pal pads, it's a crime. Because <laughs> like it's so broken being able to search for like I mean to be fair, you have to search for a Steven and a and a lieutenant search, right? But like being able to search for any four cards you want every turn, it sounds a little bit absurd to me. And like not just any four cards, but be able to do it the following turn afterwards. So I, I definitely want to keep it. Maybe we have to cut a Poke Gear, but Poke Gear means we won't get turn one Stevens as much. So like let's let's take a look at every deck a card, right? So we need the four four line of Beldum because we need the Metagross, right? Uh, we need the Lucario Manuel for the GX attack because it's really strong, and we need this for Reshizar. So we got to keep that. So Pokemon line is good. Items, Countercatcher, Stupid Broken, and these type of decks. Uh, three Max Potions. It kind of feels low. I would like to play four. Three is good for the time being. Four Nest Balls and four Ultra Balls, you need them for your early game search so you don't get dunked. Four Pow Pads, as we discussed, we need them all for the for the stuff. Uh, Poking Gear means we can actually find our Stevens early game, so that's really good. Uh, four Rare Candies to go with our 4-4 four, four Lion. One Stretcher so that we can chain, uh, particularly this, but in case of like we need to set up multiple Metagrosses and things are prized, we have them for the Beldums as well. Two Switches. Mm. Switch feels like the best option, like giving us momentum is so good, so we're going to keep the switches. Uh, three shrines, because once again, shrine. But it's looking like shrine is the weakest link right now. We need the ace roll for, for the Lucario Memo. Guzma is just a good card. Judge is a good card. We need the two four line. And we need the one choice ban and the three frying pans. So I think we're going to have to cut one shrine for this. So this is going to be the deck, guys. I think it's really cool, and I, I might play another video with this deck if you guys want to see me. Play it, let me know in the comments down below but of course answer the comment question today for a chance to win a couple of codes this is just gonna be simple give me the re tell me what deck you want to see me play and why um for the next and once again booster boxes are coming uh, of course answering comment question today as well as leaving a like means you do get a chance to win a couple unbroken bond codes and uh what's it called also like let's hit the 75 like goal once again let's hit the 75 like goal it's always nice right um yeah I didn't get to bed because I have work early tomorrow morning. So I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.